And let me greet the Church of God once again in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We are going to do the vows. And after reading, I will ask you if you are, if you agree, that if you do, you will indicate by the raising of your hand. Is that okay? All right. We are starting right away. Do you believe there is one God, a Father? Son and the Holy Spirit, a unity of co-eternal essence. Do you? Amen. Amen. Do you accept the death of Jesus Christ on Calvary as an atoning sacrifice for your sins and believe that by God's grace, through faith in His shed blood, you are saved from sin and eternal life? Do you? Amen. Do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? Believing in that God in Christ has forgiven your sins and given you a new life. And do you renounce the sinful ways of the world? Do you? Amen. Do you accept by faith the righteousness of Christ? Your intercessor is the heavenly century and accept his promise of transforming grace and power to live a lively Christ-centered life in your home and before the world. Do you? Do you believe that the Bible is God's inspired word, the only rule of faith and practice for the Christian. Do you covenant to spend time regularly in prayer and Bible study? Do you? Do you accept the Ten Commandments as a transcript of the character of God and a revelation of His will? Is it your purpose by the power of the Israeli Christ to keep this law? including the fourth commandment, which requires the observance of the seventh day of the week as the Sabbath of the Lord and the memorial of creation. Do you? Amen. Do you look forward to the soon coming of Jesus, of Jesus and the blessed hope when this mortal shall put on immortality, as you prepare to meet the Lord, will you witness to his loving salvation by using your talents 
impersonal storm winning endeavor to help others to be ready for his glorious appearance. Do you know? Do you accept the biblical teaching of spiritual gifts and believe that the gift of prophecy is one of the identifying marks of the remnant church? Do you? Do you believe in church organization? Is it your purpose to worship God and to support the church through your tithes and offerings? and by your personal effort and influence. Do you? Amen. Do you believe, do you believe that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit and will you honor God by caring for it, avoiding the use of that which is harmful and abstaining from all unclean from the use, manufacturer, or sale of alcoholic beverages, from the use, manufacture, or sale of tobacco in any of these forms for human consumption, and from the misuse of 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 trafficking in necrotics or other drugs. Do you? Do you, do you know and understand the fundamental Bible principles as taught by the Seventh-day Adventist Church? Do you propose by the grace of God to fulfill, to fulfill His will by ordering your life in harmony with those principles? Do you? Do you accept the ten of the new the new testament teaching of baptism by imagine and the desire to be so baptized as a public expression of faith in Christ and his forgiveness of your sins? Do you? Okay. Do you accept and believe that the seventh year Adventist Church is the remnant church of Bible prophecy, and that people of every nation, race, and language are invited and accepted into this fellowship. Do you desire to be a member of this local congregation of the world church? Do you? Amen. Amen. We have witnessed them raising their hands in argument. Hallelujah. Amen. Now I'm going to ask a very simple question. The question is, is there anyone in our midst who wants to change his mind or her mind? Or this mind or her mind? This is just like a raising of your hand if you want to change your mind. All right. None of them is changed by the raising of their hand. That means, ask the second question. Were you intimidated or threatened to accept the call and to be baptized today? Were you intimidated? Were you threatened? Oh, God. Okay. Now, given, uh, given the fact that they were not intimidated, they were not forced to accept to be baptized today, I therefore present them before you, my brothers and sisters. Is there anyone in our midst who says, let them be baptized? Amen. Amen. Is there anyone in our midst who has a different opinion altogether who says, no, they should not be voted, they should not be baptized today? Indicate by the same way. All right. We are covered. Brethren, brethren, here are young people and elderly people who have accepted Christ as their Lord and personal Savior, who are ready to be baptized today. 
Now, if the gospel preacher, it gives me pleasure to say, I also support that they be baptized. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there anyone in our list who wants to pray for them? They are young, they are inexperienced, they need help. Anyone to pray for them? Any volunteer to pray for them? Babos, Babos, there's a hand over the map. I'm going to give you a message to Babos, what's up, Papi? What's up, Mark? No, but let me have a little bit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.
Because of your faith in Jesus Christ, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because of your faith in Jesus Christ, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Because of your faith in Jesus Christ, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because of your faith in Jesus, Amen. we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Musa Chabala Lebohang Mtweni Chin Manyika. Because of the faith in Jesus Christ, we baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because of your faith in Jesus Christ, we baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because of your faith in Jesus Christ, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus Christ, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Because of your faith in Jesus Christ, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because of your faith in Jesus Christ, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Because of your faith in Jesus Christ, we baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Kanisa Mbeile Mataha. Because of your faith in Jesus Christ, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mbele Mataha, Sietu David Mufukeng, Chenawani Kunkuzana. Because of your faith in Jesus Christ, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because of your faith in Jesus Christ, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jordan. The Bible is saying he was baptizing in the name of the Father and of the Holy Spirit. He was promising that those who have been baptized, they will receive the forgiveness of their sins. And while John was busy preaching to the multitude, he saw Jesus coming from a distance. And he pointed at him. And he said, Behold the Lamb of God that took away the sin of the world. And that man who is coming is the one who was before me. And I'm not even worthy to tie the meshes of his shoes. And when Jesus arrived near the river Jordan, he is requesting John that you should baptize me. And the reason why Jesus needed to be 
baptized. So that all will be following should do likewise. And the Bible is saying at the Ascension of Christ from it's the grave of the water. The heavens were open. The Holy Spirit was poured. And the voice shouted from heaven. Saying, this is my beloved son. I'm well pleased. You shall hear him. And from that moment onward, he received the power of the Holy Spirit. I want to say to those that are being baptized today, if this pool did not give you the power of the Holy Spirit, nothing else in this world will ever be able to do that. Because this is the ultimatum in our faith. We believe that when we have been immersed in this of water, when we rise up from this grave, we have received the power of the Holy Spirit. And Christ, after it who was baptized, he went out and he do the miracles. If you want to work for the Lord, this is the starting point. If you want to be effective in this society, this is the starting point. If you want to make a difference in the, in the life you are living, this is the starting point. If you want to be a new creature, this is the starting point. I am saying to the Pathfinders are the people who make it a point that in the next baptism you don't miss to come into Jesus' name. Because this is where you will launch your mission. If you want to be a Pathfinder with difference, if you want to be a Pathfinder, that will go fearless. You need to come and get the power of the Holy Spirit. If you are a Pathfinder, you are an adult, but you have not been baptized. It is your desire and wish that the next baptism, in this manner and in this fashion, that you want the card of honor to be done. When you are baptized, how could you want the flags to rise up as a symbol of celebration. You want the drums to roll as a sign that you are in tribulation. You want to make the heaven happen. Raise your hand to sign the next baptism. It is my baptism. It is your desire. All those who want to be baptized, I'm asking that they must come next to this pool. Me by pota pote. Everyone who says, "Come closer to this pool." Come closer to this pool. If you say, "This is my time," Make a circle around. Because a circle is a symbol of unity. Our Father and God who is in heaven, we would like to thank you, dear Lord, this evening, not because of anything that we could have done, but simply because of your spirit that has whispered to your children. Your man servant, dear Lord, has faithfully carried out the task that was before them. My prayer, dear Lord, 
is that the desire that these ones have who are close to the pool, may you keep and seal that desire Amen. until the next baptism. We know, dear Lord, that when they leave this gate, the devil will be waiting for them. Our prayer, dear Lord, is that like the wise men, come and bring a message and tell them to take a different direction. So that, dear Lord, as they proceed with their life, are waiting for the next baptism, where they are going to die and resurrect in newness of life. Until that day, keep them safe under the shelter of your wings. So that when the concord of heaven shall be dispersed from the eastern skies, oh, yes, they may look up and say, this is the Lord that we've been waiting for. Amen. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.